As in the last 30 days, this kid's educational channel is making anywhere from $700 to $12,000. And they are doing this by simply uploading simple educational videos for kids. This includes names of fruits, names of animals, alphabetical letters, and song, just to mention but a few. And some of the videos are getting over 40 million to 50 million views. And all you have to do to create this type of content is to sit down, relax, and follow the simple steps that I will show you. And by the end of the video, I will give you some bonus tips you can do to even double your earning. So the first thing that we need to do is to come up with video ideas. So we can do this by using Google or we can use an AI tool to give us a list of ideas that we can work on. Or we can simply come up with the ideas ourselves. So to be quick, I'll simply give you some ideas that you can work with when it comes to kids' educational content. So this can be naming the fruits or naming different type of animals or alphabetical letters, just to mention but a few. So in today's tutorial, we will work on naming the fruits and spelling the fruits. So what we will simply do is we'll come up with a list of 100 different type of fruits. So to do this, we will go to ChatGPT and we'll ask ChatGPT this simple prompt. Give me a list of 100 different fruits. So ChatGPT will be generous enough and give us a list of 100 different type of fruits. So from here, what we're going to do is simple. We will tell ChatGPT these simple prompts because there are a lot of fruits. So we want ChatGPT to classify them in groups of nine. So we will tell ChatGPT to classify these fruits in groups of nine. Excellent. Now that ChatGPT has finished classifying them, look at what we have. So we have the common fruits, which includes apples, bananas, oranges, strawberry, brubilly. We have the melon and citrus. We have the stone fruits. We have the unique fruits. And we also have the exotic fruits. The list is endless. So from there, this is the last prompt that I want us to ask ChatGPT. Since we are creating kids content and it's about naming the fruits and spelling the fruits, we will ask ChatGPT to tell each fruit to introduce itself to the kids and tell the kids how to spell itself. So the prompt will be as simple as this. Based on each classification, make each fruit introduce itself to the kids and tell the kids how to spell itself. And ChatGPT will be generous enough and do what we've simply asked it to do, to do for us. So look at what we have. On the common fruits, we have an apple and it has introduced itself to, to the kids. Like, hi kids, I'm apple, A-P-P-L-E. I'm crispy, juicy, and I come in different colors like red and green. I'm perfect for snacks and making delicious pies. So if there is any part of text or any part of information that we would want to add or on or on this fruit we can simply add it there or if there is anything that we would want to remove from the script we can simply do that for every fruit that we have okay so what we need to do now is to animate our characters so for us to animate our characters i'll just select the first three fruits which is an apple banana and orange just for this video's demonstration. So for us to do that, we will go to Canva. So once we are on Canva, we will go to where it says create a design and we will select a flyer. You can select any design you want, but I'll select a flyer. So once it opens up this blank canvas, our first fruit is an apple. So we will go to elements and we will search for an apple. After that, we will go to graphics and we can select any apple that we want. So I'll select the first one and I'll resize it to my preference. Once it fits my desire, I will go back to elements and I'll search for animated or cartoon legs. Once that is done, I'll select a pair of legs that I like. So I think I'll go with this one. I'll place the legs there. Since this one looks to be in an opposite direction, so I will crop it. I'll put this one here, then I'll click on option and I will duplicate it. I'll place them like that. Great. So once that is done, I'll go back to elements and I'll search for cartoon arms. There are different tons of arms, so choose the one that you prefer. So I think I'll go with this one. Place this one there and I'll resize it a bit like that. I think I'll resize an, the, the size of an apple, I'll make it a bit bigger like this and I'll position it 
at the center in the opposition my arm like this so what i'll simply do is i'll right click and i'll duplicate the arm and i'll bring the other arm this side and what i'll simply do is i'll flip it like that great so what i need to do is to bring this apple to front so i'll right click and layers i'll go to layers and i'll bring to front like that awesome so the last thing that we want to add is a smiling face so I'll go back to elements and i'll search for cartoon faces so select the face that you like i think i'll go with this one i will resize it like this now place it there so you can play with your legs and arms until they fit the desire that you need for your character okay so the last thing that i want to do is to change the color of the legs so I will select the, the red color. So I'll come here to colors and I'll select this one. And I'll click the other leg. And I'll select the color to be red as well. So the same applies to the arms. I'll change the color. Okay, now that we have finished creating this outstanding outlooking character. So the last thing that I'll do is to group it. I'll resize it to my desire. So once you have your character like that, the last thing that we'll need to do is to click on share, come to where it says download, and download it as a, as a PNG or as a JPEG file. So click on download. So we will do the same thing for the banana and the orange. So go back to Canva. So you don't have to start creating anything from the uh, uh, the foundation the foundation has already been laid for us so if we want to animate an orange what we can simply do is we ungroup everything we we'll ungroup we will remove we we'll position the face here and we'll delete the apple and we'll go back to element and we will search for an orange so from here you can select the type of orange that you want so this one looks to be real i'll select this one and i'll rotate it like this like that you can select any orange that you desire or that you prefer I'll position my orange here and I'll increase the size a bit like this, like that. And what I'll simply do is right click and go to layers and bring my, my face to front. Then I'll drag my face there and I will increase the size to my preference like that, which is good. Then I'll change the color of the arms to orange. I think I'll select this one. The same applies with my feet okay so this is very awesome and easy to do so what i'll simply do is i'll select everything and i will group everything and i'll drag my orange like that if the size of the leg is too big you can simply resize it i think i like the way it is so once you're done just click on download as a png file so the last fruit i know that we have is a banana i'll give you i'll give it to you as a task so you can simply just delete the orange and just drag a banana here just search for a banana and drag it there and repeat what we've just done okay now that we are done creating our characters all that we have to do now is to bring our characters to life so for us to animate our characters we will go to a site called animated drawings so once we are on animated drawings all that we have to do is to come where it says get started once we are on get started what we simply need to do is to upload our image so we'll click, we'll click on upload photo. So once we're on this site, if there is any part that has been hidden, we can simply drag these arrows like this. Oh, we can just leave it the way it is since everything has been perfectly selected. So nothing has been cropped out. So we can click on next. And from there, we can come to the site where uh, the character has been highlighted. And it usually highlights everything perfectly, but if there is somewhere you've not seen to be highlighted, you can simply click on the pencil too and simply select the part that you want to be highlighted. And if there is any part that has not that has not been selected, or if there is any part which is not supposed to be selected, you can simply use the eraser tool and erase that part. So from there, we'll click on next. And when we come to this side, so this is where you need to make sure that you drag everything properly. So this is where the right eye has to be. So the left eye and this is where the right eye is supposed to be. So make sure everything has been highlighted and selected perfectly. We want all our joints to be in, in, in position. We don't want to miss out on 
anything. So once everything has been well selected and we find all our joints, what we simply need to do is to click on next. Whoa, just look at that. Very outstanding, very interesting. There are different type of animation from our left here that we can choose from. So starting from dancing, funny animations, jumping and walking. So if you like this one where he's just jumping, you can simply increase the size like this and click the three dots here and click on download. And your character or your animated character will be downloaded. So if you like this one, which is standing, you can click on it and it will be standing and waving at you like that. So if you like this type of character, what you can simply do is you click on, click on these three dots here and simply download. So you can simply choose all the characters that you want and download them to your PC. So you simply do the same with an orange, you click on next. And once everything has been perfectly highlighted, you also click on next. Yeah, this is very excellent. So what you need to do is select the ones that you like and simply download them. Now that we've finished animating our characters, the last thing I would want us to do before editing is coming up with audio sounds for all our characters. So to do that, we're going to go to 11 labs. So we will go to 11 labs.io. So once we are on 11 labs, select where it says text to speech. Once it is selected, all I'm asking you to do is to go back to ChatGPT, copy the words of the first fruit, go back to 11 labs and paste your words there. So you can play with your words the way you would want them to be arranged. Do you want the, the spellings to be done first or you want them to be done at the end or, or, or at the middle of the, the video, anywhere. So you can play with them and come up with that unique lesson for the kids. Okay, so once you finish playing with your text, the other thing that I would love you to do is to come here where it says settings. So on this arrow, there's a drop down arrow here. This is where you, you have to select. This is where you have to select the audio for your video. So you can play with different type of sounds and select the one that you like. So for this tutorial's sake, I will select this one, which is Gigi or Gigi, depending with uh, your pronunciation. Uh, it's an American accent and childish and it's good for animation. So select this one and we'll scroll down to where it says generate. So once that is done, you can come to where it says download and download your audio there. So you have to repeat this process for all your three different characters. And if you'd love to choose a different a voiceover artist, you can simply do that for each of your fruit. So once everything is done, the last thing that I would want you to do is to go back to Canva. So this is where we're going to create our video. So this is where we will combine our audio and our animated characters together. So to simply do that, we will go to create design and we will select a video and we will create our video from a blank canvas. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to have a background. So to do that, we will go to elements and we will search for cartoon backgrounds. So once, what you simply need to do is select the background that you prefer. I will select the first one and I'll increase the size to that size, which is very excellent. So what I need to do is to upload all my downloaded animations to Canva. So I'll go to uploads and I'll click on upload file. Okay, so what we need to do is to drag our animation to the background so that we can come up with our, our scene. So what we need to do is we'll select the first one. Now when we observe carefully, it has got this white background. So what we need to do to remove this white background, it's to come to where it says edit video and come to background remove. Okay, so this is very excellent. So what I simply have to do is to resize my animation like, like this. And when we look carefully, uh, it has done some effect on the eyes. This is because uh, Canva doesn't really do a great job when it's working on a white background and the eyes are white. So it can't really tell, it can't really tell the difference. So you will bear with us. So we want to position our character somewhere which is very interesting, like here. So we can play and see the way it looks. Okay, so this is very interesting. And now for us to bring our character to even more life, there are two things that we need to add. Number one is, uh, we can add in a text and we have to add in an audio so to simply do that 
we will go to where it says audio and we'll select the audio that we had downloaded from 11 labs and we'll simply put the audio here so select our audio and it will start from here so the other thing that we need to do is to listen to it and if there is an area where we need to split in order that we can add another scene we can actually split it from there so let's listen to it and see the way it sounds hi kids i'm apple i'm crisp juicy now that we've added our audio, what we simply have to do to bring it even to more life is by simply adding in some text. So our first words are saying, hi kids. So we'll go to text and to add in our text. We can go to chat GPT and copy these four words and use them as our text, paste like that. So what we can simply do from here is we can play with the color of our text, the effects, the animation, anything that we'd love to work on with our text. Okay, so once we finish working on our animation, what we simply want to do is to play with our audio. So what we'll do is I'll go to my audio and I'll listen to it carefully and where I need to split, I'll click on left right click and I'll go to where it says split audio. So once my audio has been split, I'll click on the three dots here on top and I'll select duplicate page. So this gives me the opportunity to add another scene to our video. So I'll drag my audio like that. Okay, what we simply want to do once we add in another scene is to delete this scene of an apple introducing itself to, to the kids. So we have to add in another Sin. and we'll repeat the same process of removing the background okay so this is very perfect okay once we finish add adding in our scene what we simply need to do is to change the text as well so we'll go back to chat gpt and we'll copy our second text and we'll paste it there so once our text has been aligned and our scene has been added we can simply play to hear the way it sounds hi kids i'm apple Okay, once you finish doing that, you keep on doing this and repeating the process for both your orange and your banana and any other fruit that you might have. Okay, now that we've finished animating our characters, adding the audio and the text to our video, so the last thing I would love you to add is simply adding background music. And to do this, we can simply go to Pixabay and search for a background music that fits our need. Once we are done, we can simply download it upload it to canva and just drag it to your timeline like that and you can listen to it and adjust the volume so that it's not louder than your text okay so this is very outstanding and this is very unique and very powerful and it adds value to the lives of the kids so you simply repeat the process for all your animation for the apple for the banana or you can even combine them the choice is yours you want to come up with that creative idea so once we are done creating our video what we simply need to do is to come to share and download it as an mp4 Coming up to our bonus, what we simply have to do in order for us to come up, in order for us to generate even more money is by simply coming up with a product that we can sell which is in line with the content that we are creating. So this include at creating animated books that children can color or draw or trace from. So we can simply do this in many different ways. We can hire a freelancer on Fiverr or we can just create the designs ourselves or we can use AI tools like uh, Mid Journey to come up with some outstanding animated characters that children can draw color or trace so thank you very much if you find this video helpful please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell if there is any suggestion that you have please let me know in the comment section below thank you god bless you hi kids i'm apple i'm crisp juicy and come in different colors like red and green i'm perfect for snacks and making delicious pies you can spell me as A-P-P-L-E.